Facebook, friends and family. <sighs> I guess I'm fully owning my night owl self because I'm just realizing it's 12, almost 12.30 a.m. where I am. And I haven't done my day 12 of temple body devotion and uh, I'm doing it now before I go to bed. <sighs> Never postpone anything until tomorrow that can be done today. So the message that I want to bring today, and I'm realizing that it's probably better to do it short and sweet. So we'll see how short it will be. Because I'm re recognizing and realizing that time is incredibly precious. And uh, <sighs> we just don't have time any longer for any waste of time or any small talk or any any BS. So I'll just cut to the point. The message that I wanted to come today, and I think I posted it into the, the, the comments, not the comments, but the topic. And if you're here, um, I invite you to say hello. I think I may catch some people on the, from the other side of the world if I keep doing the late um, Facebook Lives, but what I have been feeling today are, are my tools, or what are the tools that we have that will support us in, um, in our lives, not only now, or, but actually in the next few months, and also the next year of 2021. Because um, we can all, obviously, all, all of us, um, expect things that are gonna be um, unexpected, or something that we are not simply prepared for and so what are some of the tools that are helping you hello hi love hi Samantha I know um, this is probably a good time um, for you morning or daytime <sighs> yeah what are some of the tools that we can use to support ourselves um, during these incredible, not so easy times. And um, what is happening, just as we realize what is happening upon the planet, or we have realized it already, or we are going to realize even more so of what is happening upon the planet. You know, as we are changing and transforming alongside of whatever else is changing and transforming on a planet in our, and in our lives, um, what will we do when we are faced with hard decisions, when we're faced with triggers, when we're faced with emotions that rise because of um, a shocking incident um, appears in our lives, no matter what it is. So. Um, we can see the events that are happening from a really neutral point of view, not from the political point of view, but truly to see everything as a battle that is happening upon the earth, as a battle between light and dark, as a battle that is also a war that is also happening within our own selves. And um, what I'm re recognizing and feeling and tuning into that we are standing at this threshold or at this gateway um, of either taking control of our emotions um, and reconstructing our mind of our old stories and beliefs or um, we can slowly and gradually I think my airpods just connected strangely halfway through what I was say, saying but um, we can take a hold of our emotions and not let them control us or we can continue gradually and slowly be taken away into the unconscious becoming of 
or becoming or continuing to be this compliant commodity in service to those who do not have our best interest at heart and to win to truly win the outer battles in the world that are happening we must um, win our own inner wars our own inner battles our own revolutionary between the mind and the heart so we can live in truth and no longer in the lie to realize our own inner strength to choose fearlessness over um, coward, 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 cowardice or cowardness and we can be helping people and not to see them as, as competitors or as our um, opposite or separate from us or the enemies you know we can become healthy and up our immune system and to start eating healthy food and eat less of something that we know isn't good for us and more something that is vibrant and creates and gives us higher vibrations and we can create practices that align with us um, yoga, meditation, prayer, movement, dynamic movement, a moving meditation, you know, any practice can become a, a true conscious ally through this time to let the emotions move through, to let go of our whatever energy is here to uh, keep us back or to keep us from being consciously aligned with the truth of who we know we are and um, like dancing dancing is such a dynamic moving meditation like in all the ways and um, it's so important right now to for all of our actions and all of our thoughts to be conscious, to stay conscious, so that when we are faced with a hard decision and pressed up against the wall, and we are asked to sell our soul, we can actually be powerful in our truth and to choose what is right and truthful to our own heart, and to not allow the mind to take over and to whisper, um, the things that um, that someone else wants us to do or someone else wants us to become and not allow that force to no longer control us to control who we are and it's so important to work through and let go of of all the trauma of all the pain of all the repressed complexes that have been with us for decades, it's so important to forgive ourselves and to forgive all those who have um, offended us in any way so that we can release any karmic attachments, any karmic cords that are still tying us and our energies to all the other people and that are still connecting us outwardly instead of coming inward and um, to not give away to anyone your power over your mind the power over your heart to not be swayed away from being aligned with who we know we are with the truth of who we know we are and truly we must cleanse ourselves from all the programming and it, this is the work I am currently doing in my group work in my one-on-one -on -one work is to clear the programming of the mind of all the pain and suffering of the old stories that keep us that trigger us that create um, a negative field around that is just Im impossible to to know what is right and that negative field continues to influence us slowly and gradually um, 
to either go back to sleep or just to continue being the commodities and um, to not be repeating, to not be repeating unconsciously the negative behavior, behavior that's being programmed into us. Um, these are the practices that we must create for ourselves. The daily, some kind of a daily ritual practice, a daily meditation, even if it's just for five minutes, a daily movement, even if you're just jumping up and down to release the energy, to shake off the energy, so that no one can take this power away from us. No one around us or no one in, in the global, it's every practice contributes to the global awareness and the global consciousness so that we don't continue repeating unconscious behavior and the negative behavior and be the way shower and an example to all those around us to stay with the high vibration and to stay in the true conscious spirituality and awareness as we become the masters of our own mind. Becoming the master of your own mind is the only master that we need to be. And um, to have that true conscious awareness of what spirituality, spirituality truly means. The reawakening and the ascension of our own selves to contribute into the reawakening and the ascension of the world as we from inside begin to serve the world in many different ways. To we begin to bring the higher vibration of love and of light and of joy and, and experiences that we're living with our lives and with others during these incredible times. Because you are aligning with what is happening in the world. You are aligning with what is shifting on the planetary, global level. You yourself as a human body align to the consciousness of all of humanity and um, it's important to remain conscious and it's important to support yourself and support others during this time however you know how without holding yourself back without keeping yourself small and to offer the practices and the messages however way you know how um, so that we stay in alignment and we stay with the ascension of the earth. And this is how we support the ascension of the earth. We actually don't need to go somewhere and lift the earth up. We need to go inside and lift our own energy up to the heart level and from there up, however way we know how. And I've given you some examples as meditation, as yoga. Um, one of my things also is the Healy, Healy, a little Healy vibrational device. Right now I'm running and there it has um, a lot of programs to support and um, chakra programs that today I have run was the crown and the root. And then I'm also now running a, a skin healing, wound healing program to support my new um, colors, my new colors in my skin. So um, whatever else that you have that supports you to up the vibrational frequency of who you are, use that in every moment. Know that you are always connected to the divine so this is my message um, I'm feeling that it just they just come through however they come through and um, hopefully it serves one person or many and I know that in the energy field it is serving the consciousness of the world 
this is what I'm here to do, is to bring the awareness and the reawakening to humanity however I can. Through my body, through my voice, through, my, through the tools that I have gathered. And I invite you to do the same. So, thank you for tuning in. Have a beautiful evening or morning. And may all of our practices benefit all of humanity. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you, Amanda. I love you. Namaste.